Hi guys, a bit of a different video from us today. Um, ahead of our upcoming trip to Disneyland Paris and Disney World this year, we've decided to, well I've decided to put together a little haul video of what kind of stuff's out there for men, I suppose, if you're going to Disney um, this year. All part of the experience of going to Disney is all about what you're going to wear, what kind of stuff you're going to have on in your photos and what kind of stuff you're going to have on when you meet certain characters, if that's something that you enjoy doing. It's definitely something that we enjoy doing. Um, so yeah, so we've put together, we've, I've, I've gone a little, I've gone on a little haul just to have a little look and see what's out and about. Um, majority of the stuff that I bought was from Primark. Um, one thing I will say is the sizes are a little bit weird. Um, sometimes when you go into these shops, you'll find the Disney stuff with the women's section. Sometimes you'll find it in a unisex section, which is kind of what Primark do. And the I mean, there really isn't a lot for men. So I thought it'd be a really cool idea just to put together some of the stuff that I've picked out, some of the stuff that I've found, um, and just kind of show you really what kind of things I'm looking to wear. So since we've really, really gotten into going to Disney, we've really started to up our game a little bit with what we wear and we try to now wear Disney merchandise when we go to Disney parks. One of the reasons being is you can use the merchandise when you're meeting a character. So you can kind of say to the character, look, I'm wearing you and things like that. And that's a really good talking point for the character because obviously the characters can't talk. Um, so it's a really good kind of like action point if you like to kind of get the character going and, and things like that so one of the one of the good things about going to disney is you know what you're wearing and getting really getting into that so i'm just going to go through a few things that i've picked up that i'm looking to wear this year um just to maybe give some of the other guys and stuff out there that go to disney some ideas on, on what's what's out and about so first thing i picked up was this lovely sweater with mickey on it and it says oh gee on it um yeah, this is an amazing, this would be an amazing thing to wear if you're meeting Mickey because you can point to Mickey and that creates that talking point for Mickey there as well. Plus, it's really nice. I like the fact that it's got one of his little catchphrases on it as well. It's got nothing on the back. It's completely blank. It was from Amazon. And it was only £20. It's really nice quality as well. Feels really nice. So that I reckon that'll keep me warm in Paris. And... Maybe not something I'd wear in Orlando, probably be too hot for it, but yeah, it's nice. Love it. I also picked up some cargoes, just some black cargoes. I'm wearing a lot of these at the moment, especially going to parks and stuff. I feel that sometimes the jeans can be a bit restrictive, and especially when you're in Orlando as well, it's too hot for jeans. So these probably won't come to Orlando with me. I, they'll be too long. But again, for Paris and also for UK parks as well, I'm finding that cargoes like this, um, these are from Primark, but cargoes like this are so good because they're so loose, um, they look good, and they're just really easy to kind of walk around in, get, get in and out of rides with and things like that, especially when some of the rides are quite pokey to get into and some get out of, because I'm, I'm quite a big lad anyway, I'm 6'2", so I am quite big. So sometimes the rides can be a little bit, a bit of a squeeze for me to get in. So having, having you know, something like this that are nice and loose are actually... A godsend. So yeah, pick those up. They were £16 for those. They do loads of different colours as well. So I do already have some of these from Primark, but I just I wanted to add another pair because a pair that I have got, I've had for a year now and they've started to fade. So pick myself up some new ones. So next in the bag, this one isn't Disney, but could be worn at, well, it could be worn anywhere, I suppose. But yeah, this this is not a Disney one, but I just liked it. Looks like the Batman logo. So it's, it's like a retro one. So they've got this like retro collection and... So it's like a retro one. They do a retro collection as well. And it's like the Batman logo that was used in 1989 Batman. Now this one is extra large, but this one does fit me. So the sizes are all over the place. Some of the stuff I've got is small and it fit me. So it's it's bizarre how the sizing is working. I don't really understand it. Um, it's a bit weird. So you kind of have to just go don't really pay too much attention to, which is what I was doing at first. It was stressing me out because um, I get a bit of anxiety around clothes and things like that anyway. Um, but I was getting there at first. It was really stressing me out because the sizes weren't fitting me. You just have to ignore the sizes and just pick stuff up and just go with whatever fits you, um, which is what I've realised. So, and then it's not so bad. But yeah, so nice Batman t-shirt. That one was 
seven pound for that. So the next one is, this is Marvel. So this is a Marvel one. It's more like the Marvel comics for the design. Um, so it's a Doctor Strange t-shirt, again, extra large. It's from the same range. It was in the same area as the Batman one. So, and they've got loads there, like the Scooby-Doo ones there. I think there was, um, there was another big franchise. I can't think what it is now. I can't remember. But yeah, they've got loads there. So this one again is an extra large, but it's, um, yeah, Doctor Strange one. So that's cool. Not based on the cinematic universe, it's more based on the comics but I really liked that design on the front of it, so picked it up. Probably took it to Orlando with me. So next one is this T-shirt that I really liked. It's not Disney, but it's a really nice T-shirt. This one was only eight pounds for this one. So eight pounds for this T-shirt. And I got this to go with this shirt. It's been buttoned up at the front, but yeah, this shirt was 15 pounds. So this shirt, probably wear this shirt with this T-shirt underneath. Yeah, so this shirt, this shirt's a large. So it'll go over me um, with this t-shirt on. This t-shirt is a medium. So again, I think it just depends what range you're buying from as to what size it actually comes up at. Next up then is this really nice t-shirt. It's another Mickey t-shirt and it's like, it's got all of the, like the drawings and sketching of Mickey and then it's got notes. I don't even know if you can, if I can see that very well. But yeah, it's got like a sketch of Mickey and it's got like notes next to it. So the notes are basically telling you as if they were notes to the artist basically of how to how to colour it and what to do with it or what, what Mickey was doing at this point. So there's all little notes next to it and there's more sketches. That's really nice as well. That came from the Disney section. This from the unisex section as well. This is only eight pound. But I thought that was really nice. So again, another t-shirt I can use, point to it. So potentially you could, meeting Minnie, you could do the same thing. You could, when you're meeting Donald, you could point at him and just be like, you're number one, because Don that's one thing that Donald likes. Like, that's a really good interaction point for Donald. So you could wear a Mickey t-shirt if you know you're going to meet Donald, just to wind Donald up, because Donald will play up to that. So that's a really good point as well. But yes, that's another Mickey t-shirt there. Next one I've got was this. Now this, this is not a color I normally go for, but I just saw it and I just thought I have to get this. There's nothing on the back, but yeah, I thought I just have to get this. This is from the um, 100th uh, collection at Primark. And this is a small, I don't know how this is a small, I've got no idea, but this is a small and this fits me. So we've gone from an extra large in one collection to a small in another collection and they both fit me. Bizarre, but yeah. So if you're someone that gets a little bit hung up on t-shirt sizes and things like that, as a man, um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just don't worry about the sizing, just ignore the sizing and just pick up whatever fits you, because that's what I've had to do. So in this, this is the this t-shirt. Not a colour I'd normally go with, but I absolutely love the colour. And this one has got Mickey, Minnie, it's got Donald on it. You can see how Donald's getting annoyed at Mickey there. So again, if you're meeting characters, if that's something you do, then you could wear this t-shirt and you can use this. So like you're meeting Pluto, you can point at Pluto and say, oh, you're my favorite Pluto and all that kind of thing. Again, the characters love visual things that they can pick up on, that they can kind of mime and interact with you with. So if you're wearing t-shirts with things like this on, this is a great way to, especially when you've got one like this, where it's like multiple characters, you can you can meet multiple characters there and you can point at those characters and you can use that as a talking point, as I said. So yeah, that's a really nice t-shirt as well. Oh, it's got that on the arm as well. I haven't even noticed that. It's got Walt Disney on the arm, like a like, a, like an autograph, like a signature, which I, I, I think that's amazing. I didn't even notice that before, but yeah, that's really nice as well. And then this one, now I've seen this one elsewhere. And when I saw it, I thought I absolutely have to get this jacket. So this, this, this jacket, this, this is a jacket. Absolutely have to get this jacket. And I thought, bet you any money now, I won't be able to find it anywhere. Went into Primark and there it was. So this jacket is amazing. And I, have to, I might have to put some clips in of me wearing it. But this jacket, it's like a, what do you call them? Um, Letterman jacket. That doesn't feel right to me. It's like a baseball jacket kind of a thing, I suppose. Yeah, Letterman jacket then. We'll go, we'll go with that. Um, let them in jacket. So, and this is it. It's got the Disney 100th on it. It was £32 for a jacket. I don't think that's bad at all because really these kind of things, when they're covered in Disney stuff, I don't really wear that too much out and about when I'm going other places. Um, most of my Disney t-shirts and merch is worn within 
Disney. Sometimes I'll go to Alton Towers or I might go to Thorpe Park and stuff with, or Chessington with these kind of t-shirts on. But I mainly buy this kind of stuff to wear when I'm going to Disney parks or I'm doing Disney things. Um, just because I feel like you need to kind of be dressed for it, I suppose. I don't know. It's something that's kind of got in my head. So I kind of like to wear Disney stuff when I'm at Disney. Um, but yeah, so this is the jacket. So on the back, it has Walt Disney on the back. And then it's got the autograph again. It's from the 100th collection, if I didn't sell it already. Now on the front, it's got the Mickey ears and the Walt Disney signature again. And on the arm, it's got these really nice, really nice patches. Pluto, Donald Duck, Mickey Mouse, nothing on the other arm, but yeah, it's got these lovely patches on it as well. It's, it's so nice. And do you know what? The quality is not even that bad either. I mean, it's not the highest of quality. Of course, it's not for 32 pound from Primark. It's not going to be, but, and it's, um, but yeah, the quality of it, I think is really nice. And especially when I'll be wearing it at Paris, won't be taking it to Orlando because again, it will just be too hot to wear. It's a waste of time taking something this big when you won't be wearing it. But um, yeah, love, really, really lovely jacket. I really like it. The only complaint I have with it is that the arms are just a little bit too short. And I'm a nightmare anyway for arms because I've got quite long arms. So when I put my arms out, jackets always ride up them. But when I wore, when I tried it on, you can just push the arms up a little bit, just up up your arm a little bit and it just looks so good. It just looks the part, it just looks really, really nice. So that will go with so much stuff. So I'll definitely be wearing that at Paris on our next trip. Um, but yeah, it's just such a nice jacket. I absolutely love it. So I can't wait to get that, get that on and put that with something. But yeah, so nice, such a lovely jacket. They don't have any other colors. This is the only color, this is the only style and color that they do. And they don't have any with any other kind of patches on. This is this is the only one that, we, that I saw. So it looks like it's the only one they do. But again, meeting characters, you've got characters on the arm. It seems like the 100th collection stuff, it's very much about celebrating the original five characters, you know, you know Mickey, Minnie, um, Donald, Pluto. It's, it's all about celebrating those characters, I suppose, because that's where it all began. So it seems like a lot of the 100th stuff, a lot of the 100th stuff, it's all about celebrating those original characters. So a lot of the 100th stuff has got those characters on it. So I um, love that jacket, absolutely amazing jacket. Um, and then I also got some new trainers. So I got myself some high tops. So I got these, well, these. So I also got myself some new trainers. I got these high tops. I have wide feet, so I have to stretch my trainers always because I can now, or I have to buy wide, wide um, sized ones because I can just never get my feet into trainers and when if I do get them in they hurt so I always have to go for wide so I've had to stretch these ones out a little bit just to make them fit me I've had to force them to fit me um, but yeah so I've got myself some new high tops so looking forward to getting these with a nice t-shirt and then probably the jacket I reckon with maybe my new cargoes and stuff maybe like might look quite nice so we'll, i'll do a, a test try of that and see what i think of it but yeah because you've got the black from the shoes here which will hopefully go with the with the cargoes and then the jacket at the top might look quite nice so yeah so we'll try that but um yeah so i've got myself some new trainers as well so that's it for this really short little haul video i just literally wanted to show some of the new stuff that i've picked up um for this season, for, for when we go to Disney and things like that. I just feel like there's a lot of haul videos out there for girls. There's a lot of haul videos out there, um, you know, telling girls what there is for them to buy and how to put their outfits together. And I just feel that there's not really anything out there for boys and, you know, letting boys know what they can wear when they go to Disney because, you know, us boys enjoy Disney just as much as the girls do. So yeah, I just thought it was quite nice just to kind of show some of the bits. I mean, there's a lot more out there in Primark, just some of the other stuff I just didn't, it, I just didn't feel like it suited me or just wasn't wasn't for me. Um, before we go to Orlando, I'll probably do another another trip out to see what there is about there, see if anything has been added, if there's any new stuff. So I'll probably do another one. And if I get stuff, I'll probably do another video like this just to kind of show off what I've got and what there is out, out and about so that you can see what there is there and 
go and get some stuff for yourself. So yeah, so if you watch this video all the way through, thank you so, so much for watching and thank you so, so much for supporting our channel. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel for lots, lots more Disney and theme park and travel content. We do all theme parks around the UK and Disney parks in Europe and the US. So uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.